Hello, Kyle Thomas here, founder and CEO of Provide, uh, here with David Jones, our product owner. Uh, David wears many hats. Uh, we all wear many hats. Provide is, is uh, our engineering team is growing. Um, last time on one of these, uh, these episodes, uh, if you will, uh, I showed a preview of the Provide CLI, uh, CLI baseline functionality where you could uh, run a local baseline stack and then and connect that that local um, SOR system of record integration proxy, if you will, to um, to a full to a full uh, uh, to a full stack uh, implementation of, of the provide the provide baseline uh, stack that is featured in BRI one. Um, it's featured in BRI three too. That's coming up. Um, so what we're going to uh, show today, sort of taking that 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 last one where we showed that um, that preview. Uh, to the next level. So we're going to show how you can interact with your counterparties using the Provide Baseline CLI in a very developer-friendly way. Um, now, I want to point out that uh, this, this um, what we're going to show you today is, this, is the same th sort of flow that our shuttle product will actually take the users through as well uh, when we release that uh, around July 4th. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's let's start to work. You know, let's start baselining with uh, with our counterparty here. Um, you know, we have a, let's say we have a bunch of invoices that we've baselined in a uh, in a, you know a commercial setting, and we are interested in taking the tokenized really not the tokenized output. Excuse me, taking the the uh, the proofs from. Uh, an aggregated amount, a, n a, new, a number of processes, for example, and uh, rolling those proofs into a single invoice proof. We want to then take that invoice proof and get it into DeFi somehow. So in, in order to do that, we're going to work with our good friends at Provide.Exchange, and David is going to be playing the role of the operator of the provide exchange baseline stack i'm going to be playing the role of myself in basically getting uh these invoice these you know these prove these baseline invoices into DeFi uh through provide.exchange uh so i'm gonna go ahead and authenticate all right um all right, so then we need to go ahead and, uh, and, and pass things over to Damon for a second. So what, what we're really going to do is um, provide baseline work groups uh, uh, init. We're going to call it, um, what do we need here? Let me do this name. Uh, uh, what do we need? Let's take a look. We need to make a new work group for this because that's how it works. Name uh, is going to be the uh, the provide DeFi. Uh, the it's going to just be called provide DeFi, and the organization. I'm going to need that. Uh, we have some really cool updates coming for the CLI here soon, where this will just become very uh, very auto completable, where you can just sort of tab tab through the op, you know the options here. Because we don't have that today, I'm going to go ahead and say provide organizations list. See a few organizations I'm a part of. We got Provider Bright. That's probably a good choice. So what we'll do is pro provide work groups. I'm sorry, baseline work groups init. The name. Provide DeFi. And the organization. And what else do we need here? Oh well, yes, we need a network. Provide networks list. Um, let's make. Oops. Let's look at the public networks. Let's go ahead and use. Yes, yeah, so the BRI three is really coming together. Um, you see here we got the the uh, public support for Hedera's mainnet and testnet. Uh, really cool, really cool group uh, of folks at, at Hedera. Um, yeah, so let's grab the uh, the Robson uh, the Robson ID. Let's use that one for now, and um, some network, and then 
All right, let's see if that'll if that'll get us somewhere. All right. So we're we're deploying the the work group. So really, we're we're just creating a work group. So at this point, um, while that's happening, I'm gonna pass the pass it over to David. Uh, he's gonna set up the uh, the provide dot exchange organization uh, using our our quick start documentation. Uh, David, take it take it, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for that. Uh, and if you want to follow along, you can visit it docs.provide.services and check this out. Um, this is all listed there, and I'm actually going to be using that to, to go through this, this video. Uh, and the first thing you'll see here is we need to create a new organization. Uh, this is assuming that we don't have one already. I'm just going to copy-paste it here into the terminal. And I will go ahead and change that organization name there to provide.exchange, just like Kyle just said. There we go. Okay, so that is made. All right, and let me switch back to the docs here. There we go. And the next step, I'm going to need to list that organization because what I need to do is grab that organization ID because we're going to need it. So let me go ahead and grab that here. Mm, there we have it. Skip back over to the docs here, and we're going to need to initialize a token for that organization. So I will copy what we have in the docs here, go back to our terminal. We'll paste it, and we're going to go back and fill in the organization ID that we just grabbed, that we just, from the organization we created up there for provide.exchange. So let me go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, and then there's a little, you know, a little rough around the edges here and there in the docs. Get there. Exactly. But that may change here very soon in the future. I think it might. I think it might just a little bit. <laughs> uh, so now we have the, the, the token initialized for that organization, and I'll go ahead and toss it back to Kyle uh, because we're going to need a little bit from him to go forward here. Well, we've got Provide DeFi, a work group that, that Provide has created to, uh, to facilitate the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the enablement of invoice tokenization by way of the baseline protocol. Uh, and we've done this, uh, it, we want to create this Provide DeFi work group so we can do this, uh, this enablement under zero knowledge. Um, and so in order to do that, we're going to need to go ahead and add Provide Exchange, one of our trusted partners and counterparties that we want to work with. Uh, under this scenario, to that work group, and so how do we do that? Uh, we need to, well, we need to go. We need to call provide baseline work groups, and it's a little we're, it's a little cumbersome, I think, right now. But participants init. So provide baseline work groups, participants. I'm sorry, invite, uh, and we're going to want to do um, uh, the work group that we're actually uh, doing the inviting. Uh, for you know, we're going to invite provide dot exchange to this work group. So you, there, there's that that idea again. Um, uh, Lucas Rodriguez, uh, who just joined our team, he's working on some really cool stuff for the CLI that's going to make this uh, user experience just extremely easy, uh, where you can just auto complete everything and uh, automatically just just fly through this. We're so excited to see what he comes up with. So on top of that, we're going to need to uh, specify an organization. Um, organization that we want to uh, uh, basically uh, invite, you know, who, who, who are we? And so we're, we're, we're this is our uh, provide a bright organization. Um, and then we're going to, let's go ahead and do a help again and see what other, other uh, options we, uh, we might need, um, you know, for this, uh, for this invite. And so, um, yeah, I think, I think we've got, so, so manage tenants interesting, right? Uh, manage tenants an option where if it's set, uh, the, um, the the invited participant is essentially um, granted authorization to deploy um, the resources onto um, the provide stack, for example, the BRI one stack uh, that is running in a not not provides production environment, for example, but maybe like the Kona har bottling harbor or um, a service now harbor of sorts, um, some ecosystem operator who's running uh, the provide baseline as a you know baseline stack uh, that is op, you know essentially uh, 
providing these or you know this 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 ecosystem uh, operation and and uh, orchestration uh, if you will uh, so that's that's pretty cool we won't we won't use that today uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to add uh, let's uh, do that one uh, we're going to just add um, uh, we'll just say well Dave and app provide dot exchange right so what this is going to do is it's going to vend a verifiable credential uh, for Daven. So I can take that verifiable credential and deliver it to him out of band. So I just uh, delivered this verifiable, uh, verifiable credential out of band to Daven. He's going to take it and use it to uh, accept the invite to uh, the work group. All right, Kyle, thanks for that. And he did send that over out of band, just like he said. And I'm going to go ahead and copy it and paste it here so I have access to it because we're going to need it on this next step. Uh, and if we take a look back at our docs over here, uh, we are on this step here, the accept an invite to a work group using a verifiable credential dispensed by one of your counterparties. The counterparty in this instance is, of course, Kyle over there. And he has sent that. So I'm going to copy this from the docs. Let's see here. Copy and switch back over to my terminal. I'm going to paste that. And then I need to go in and insert that JWT that he has sent me, those VC, that VC. Let's see here. There we go, and let me grab it, copy, and paste. It'll fix itself here in a second. There we go, and then the next thing I need to do is this organization ID down here needs to be the one that I just created for provide DeFi. Uh, so I'm going to get this one out of there and go over, and I saved it out of band here. Um, it looks like my terminal may be remembering it. That is the correct one, actually, so I'm just going to say yes, give me that one, and Process that. Here we go. And give that a second to think about it. Next, we need to get the identifier of the work group we just joined. That'll serve two purposes. We're going to confirm that we did join it, and we're going to need that ID. All right, so now we've grabbed that UUID or that ID from the Provide DeFi work group, and we're going to need that for the next step. So taking a look at the docs again, you're going to see that the next step we have here is run the local baseline stack. The system of record and the system of record URL you'll see here in the documentation is not given. I plugged that in because I knew what it was. Uh, and we're going to, let's see, run this here. Thanks for checking out this second episode of our uh, Provide CLI preview, uh, showing how uh, to leverage the, the CLI to quick start a baseline work group and invite a counterparty. Um, on the next episode uh, in the series, we will show uh, a lot more uh, in the way of the nuts and bolts of the protocol, how sync protocol messages can deliver the binary R1CS artifacts uh, uh, for the circuits to each of the counterparties, how um, uh, we're doing verifiable credential, uh, credential issuance, and uh, a lot more. So um, very happy to show just how easy it's getting to, uh, to set up the baseline protocol and for developers especially, uh, now is the time to get involved. Uh, we'd love to hear from you and work with you. If you have any uh, cool ideas, uh, drop us a line. And um, thanks for checking this out. Mm -hmm.